Okay, so um, welcome back. We catch, we get the redfin pickerel. Um, I'm very happy about that. So, what fish? Yeah, okay. You you see, um, uh, some I I told you some friends of mine caught some good bass here, and they catched um, along the left side of the car. That's what I'm. I'm telling him uh, this direction where I'm pointing with bass chicks. About 9 meter, aka 30 feet out, there is a hole they like to hide in. Yeah. That's what I heard. So maybe we can check this out again if we are able to catch this fish. The big bass. Maybe the time of the day is wrong. That's possible. So I will give it a last try to um, to catch a trophy-sized um, bass. Maybe we can look if we can get a trophy-sized pickerel as well on a later stage. But at the moment, I'm happy to at least catch one. And I think oh, I'm not sure if we. Oh, yeah. 30 feet, pretty accurate what the guy said in the chat. And that's a good sized fish. It fights pretty hard, goes very hard into the break. Yeah, and it's a nice trophy sized specimen. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I just um, want to get a tip to this guy. Uh, to this guy who give us a tip, so... So, okay. Chatting and videotaping is a bit um, confusing. So, let's go to the... Next pack, the into the rocky blue pack, and um, I that's a uh, that's one of the packs uh, overall in the game I really like very much. I say why. First of all, here I catch trophy sized smallmouth bass, trophy sized largemouth bass, and up to unique sized red ear sunfish. So I can catch here three spe species in. Uh, really good size um, and as we did in the in the other packs we look around and we have we look if, if we see some features um, you see here the trees the trees in the water at, in this direction these are the trees from the woody enhancement spot um, there is a dead a rock a dead a dead tree in the water and some weeds and here is the rocky enhancement and um, if you see um, s the s such a rocky shore that falls steep up in the water steep down to the water most of the time at least in real life under re these steep rocky um, steep rocky shores it's a deep hole in the water so this shoreline is maybe interesting and this could be Okay, so there are some, these stones in the water are obviously interesting, so um, let's see if we can get some fish out of there. Let's cast in this direction, maybe I do another technique than stop and go, that you don't think we only can catch fish with stop and go, because that isn't true. Oh, and you see in the chat 
the, a guy called uh, Unique Red Era already. So okay, at this direction we don't get a fish. So let's see what's happened if we. I had very good success by casting along this shoreline. So let's see if it works out again. And maybe look look at the lure, how long it took to um, come to the ground. There is a a hole, I think. No, it, no not now. Around 70 feet, I think, is a hole where it goes down. Yeah, like here. <laughs> and like always, when you're told that you can catch a good amount of fish here, first of all, we catch nothing. So I'm not quite sure why that it why this is, but what I do. I changed the color of my lure from white, maybe because it's bright and sunny. Maybe the white, um, the white jig isn't the best choice. I go for watermelon, pumpkin melon, blue. Let's check out the bluish with the white head. Let's cast again in this direction. Oh, we had a bite, but the fish didn't um, hooked. Didn't get hooked again. Yeah, now we had a fish. Oh. Isn't a big fish? But smallmouth bass, another one of our species lists. So at the moment, only red breast, red ear, sunfish, and the bluegill is missing. So um, I think we ha have good chance to accomplish our goal. I think the red ear, I'm pretty sure we get. I will try to catch some smallmouth because um, I know there are trophy sized smallmouth around. Um, I want to try to get uh, at least a trophy one. Or, or what, not at least, I want to get a trophy one. I, I, as far as I know, uh, there's, there was never a unique sized um, smally catched in the game. So I'm not sure if there is a smallmouth bass in, in unique size in the game at the moment. But I know there are I know there are trophy sized specimens in the game. And I want to catch one of them. A good spot, an obvious spot, is this um, tree there. And um, oh, I always pick the wrong rod. Oh, we had lot smaller minnows on the hook by our red fin, red fin thing. 
So let's see. I go for the crawfish cut. I go for the uh, three by zero hook. And I think something like 20 inch or so. Because you see this is this tree is very near at the um, shoreline, so I don't think it's very deep there. Okay, you see now the float is laying flat, that means um, it's shallower than 20 inch. So let's uh, wind a little there. And now the, um, the float stands up, so now it's deeper than 20 inch and let's see, uh, hopefully we can get a large mouse bass there. Yeah, we get action. I didn't strike. Why did he say strike was done too early? Weird, I only do something like that. That's not nice. Failing in the video part three. So maybe, ah, uh, we get action again on our float. Maybe you noticed I, I turned up the, the real in speed to maximum because um, the current of the of the river let us lost connection to the float by our line and if we get a bite we have to retrieve some slack line before now before striking oh yeah and you hear the sound of the reel that sounds good I think. Oh, and this fish took a bit line. Oh, we don't want to lost it because slack line. The the reason why I now have to fight. Um, much harder than before is the rod. This Omnifloat isn't a, that such a stiff rod than the, the chick winner. And with a round about five pound fish online, you have to fight a bit. There he is. A, a trophy largemouth bass. So what I do now, because um, I think w what should be my goal is to catch all the species in one day is what my new goal is so I forget about the I forget about the um, trophy size smallmouth for a while for the sizes we can um, care on a later stage so next goal is to um, get a red ear sunfish and the red ears are on this side of this pack I got uh, I had good results on sunfish so I go something around yeah 40 something around 40 feet out remember 40 feet is something around 12 meters um, so um, 10 feet 3 meters and I go um, for 60 to 65 inch deep, what is about 150 to 170, I think. And I go for crawfish cut. Um, you, uh, you can catch them also on wax worms and on, um, on, on red worms, on wax worms, on crickets, on blood. Blood is a level 19, so you lately, but these are the main the main um, and crawfish cut the main 
the main baits for red ears. Um, but in my experience, I um, catch more often only trophy sized or um, unique sized fish with crawfish cut than with wax worms. So that's the reason why I now let the crawfish cut on the hook. Um, and hopefully we can catch a fish pretty fast because then we have to figure out where we can get um, a red breast sunfish and a bluegill. Oh, bite. Fish on. Yeah, here is a trophy sized red ear sunfish. So another species is off our list, and only the bluegill and the, and the red breast sunfish is missing. So to be honest, I don't have a clue where to search them. I'm not quite sure if we can... Okay, while I'm thinking, always keep a rod in the water while thinking or talking. Because you have to be in it to win it. If you don't have the rod in the water, you can't catch a fish. So, um, let's try it again. And I'm... Um, if you are thinking about spending crawfish cut gold and I know gold money and blah blah and stuff, um, 15 units cost 3 gold and one unique red ear brings between 3 or 4 gold. So if you are able to catch one out of 15 tries with a crawfish cut, one unique and I think that's it's reasonable to say if you um, if you try it in the right time, right depth, right place, you you should get a ratio like this. Uh, you at least don't uh, lose any coins. And if you are able to catch more than one, you gain some coins. So it's reasonable to think about if you are missing some coins to go after the red ears and maybe you, you, you will try it first with wax worms, with crickets. Okay, so where can we find bluegill? Where can we find bluegill and and the red breast sunfish? I'm not quite sure. I think about that I saw sometimes in the chat at the Woody Enhancement Pack that someone caught catched a bluegill. Maybe it's worth to go there. Oh, now we get action. And now you see here, look at the line, at my line, um, the current. Um, make slack line so always be aware of the status of your line that you retrieve enough that if a uh, if you get a bite that your strike comes through so come on yeah there we go oh that sounds oh i hoped for a bigger fish but um, another trophy sized nice red ear sunfish so we keep it okay I think we go back to the <laughs> we go back to the woody enhancement spot <laughs> 